Hello Maastricht, my name is Alexander Midget. And I'm Erica Belcher. And welcome to our last episode of the academic year. Coming up in today's show, we have a great selection of reports. Team Eva had a look at the kickoff to the summer festival Summer DJs. Britta took a crib style investigation around some of Maastricht's finest locations. And Paul had a look at what some of you might be doing after their exams. Just last week, the university election results were announced. And now everyone won with five seats for the first time to Dope's four. In fact, Erica left the studio to keep us up to date on the election outcomes. So we've just received the results for the university elections. Are you pleased with them, Olaf? Uh, yes, very pleased. We got five seats in the University Council, which is the best result for Novum ever. And we did also very well in all our faculty councils, so we're very, very pleased. Do you have any concluding remarks for your voters? Well, first of all, I would like to thank all our voters for voting for us. And I can tell you that we're going to work very hard for you and for the University in all the councils. And we're very looking forward to working with uh, our, our fellow DOPE candidates. And thank you very much. If you're out partying on the 5th of June, I'm 99% sure if the police approaches you, it's due to their latest campaign. On Thursday night, they'll be talking to students to inform us of the dangers of staying out late, helping us all to party safer. Thankfully, the exams are fast approaching and they'll soon be over. What do you have planned for afterwards? <laughs> well, I'll be planning my Erasmus. If you're interested in what your fellow students will be doing after the exams, then have a look at our next report. Bicyclists and students all over the place, the Maastricht Inner City Library is the place to be in these days since exams are calling and fear is all around us. We want to know, what will you do when exams are finally over? I will go on a trip to Budapest with my girlfriend. I go to Berlin and I meet my friends and I'll party hard I guess. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just going to chill and drink because it's skills period, so that's the usual thing to do. Have a few beers, have a few parties. Most likely I will get very drunk. Yeah, the goddamn thesis. I have to finish my thesis, man. Uh, I'm gonna get drunk as hell, probably. I'll just get drunk and then back home. Uh, where I get getting drunk? I'm gonna go to Ireland and get really drunk. First, I sleep for a couple of hours and then I go out and get shit-faced. <laughs> I'm gonna leave uh, to Germany tomorrow, actually, at 11 o'clock. Well, first of all, I have to finish my master thesis and then party. <laughs> The first thing, of, of course, is to get drunk. Well, what I'm going to do is head on down to this live hip-hop party, Bring the Ruckus, on the 6th of June. Well, it's my birthday on the 7th, so we fly on the 7th, so probably the evening from the 6th on the 7th we get quite hammered, and on the 7th we have some after pre drinks Everyone knows what needs to be done to be free once again from the exams when they're over. That was it for me, I have to go studying now, so... Uh, sorry, sorry, could you hold this for a second? Oh, yeah, sure. Thanks. What? If you're new to Maastricht or looking to move houses next year, then this next report will be quite informative. We'll take a look at our various of student apartments, right from the city centre to the outskirts of Maastricht. So let's head inside and take a look at the lives of some of our students. We've done a few three different houses today, and now we're here at Randwijk to view Surf's lovely little garden shed. Let's check it out. Mm. There. Come inside. Well, yeah, this is uh, my place. And yeah, it's a student home, so kind of messy like everybody's student home. It's a kind of detached house as well, so it's awesome for me to, as well as my roommate who is studying conservatory music, that we can jam here. We did some recordings here as well, so for me, this is kind of my awesome place. This is my uh, kitchen. Uh, it's kind of messy right now because um, last weekend, every time we run the dishwasher, the floor flooded. So she fixed it after one week. So we had no water supply for one week. We couldn't use the tap. We couldn't use the dishwasher. So we used to have to wash our plates in the bathroom sink instead. Mm. Nice place that you have here. Thanks. 
Let me show you around a bit. How did you get this place? A friend of mine lived here before and when she left she told me that I could have it. But if you're new here, how do you get to do that? You could first like start subrenting a room uh, and then as you get to know more people around here you can move again and find a nicer place. Other useful sites are cameranet.nl and massethousing.com where you pay a small registration fee and then have a large offer of rooms. I think I'm gonna hang around a bit if you don't mind. No, 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 make yourself at home. Still to come on the show is a report on the festival summer DJs. But first, we'd like to inform you of some events coming up in Maastricht in the next few weeks. For our first event, if you like hip hop, rap, or even DJs, bring the rockers on the 6th of June from 11 to 5 o'clock at the Cap. Tickets are able to be bought online via their Facebook page. On the 7th of June, allow the University Choir to take you on a journey through music of the Baltic States. Their concert takes place at St. Jan's Kirk, tickets for which can be purchased online. Now, in addition to their orchestral voices, the Maastricht University Orchestra also hold their summer open-air concert at Fassos. It takes place on the 11th of June, and again, you can find the tickets via their Facebook page. As Alex already mentioned, it's our last episode of the academic year. But luckily for you, we have a selection of reports that we'll be releasing throughout the rest of June. Well, firstly, we're going to have an interview with Professor Dr. Martin Paul, the president of Masters University, and have a recap of the academic year. Then we're going to have a look at the Dag van der Buurten, where students have organised a day to appreciate the local initiatives. Now, as well as those, we cover the Fashion Clash, which takes place in a couple of weeks' time. We also have the last episode of Cheap Alicious, which you can get a taste of right away. I'm going to be making Belize Skadra Hakaris. It's a Somali dish, a um, bit like fried rice. And if I were to literally translate it, it's like rice cooked. I'm going to be making a Jamaican dish because uh, my entire family is from Jamaica and it's called Jamaican jerk chicken or finger licking chicken. And it's going to be very spicy, a bit sweet and savory at the same time. Now we're going to head over to Sama DJs at the Gin Park an event which Team Eva attended one sunny Friday in Maastricht. Eddie Emeron, yeah, from Barcelona, right? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. What, what, what kind of? <laughs> okay. Let's go. So, Alex, tell us how long did it take you to organize summer DJs uh, this year, and how many people are in the organization? Uh, we started about uh, half a year ago. And uh, we're organizing it with five people, but we have uh, a bigger group of around 80, 18 people um, organizing it and helping us. So how do you manage next to your studies? Dedication, uh, dedication. <laughs> and priority, of, of course. Okay. Sometimes there are more important stuff than only studying. Okay, organizing the parties. Exactly. Making people happy. Making people happy. It's like the last big thing you can do before your exams start with all the people you like. And it's just a good atmosphere. All that you This is Summer DJs. What? <laughs> it's so cute! <laughs> Sadly, have your tissues at the ready, for we've reached the end of our show. It's of course always a sad moment when you reach the end of the academic year in Masters. And also on our team we have to say farewell to some people. Among the reporters we have Paul and Eva leaving us. 
behind the production we have Paulius, and also the founder and chief producer of the Breaking Mars show, Antonis. I also will be leaving the show, but I'm pretty sure we have a new generation of producers who will take over the challenges of Breaking Mars. Full of budding enthusiasm and friendly faces, they'll be joining us in September. So stay with us throughout the summer, and we'll see you again in a few months' time. Now it's goodbye from me. Goodbye, Maastricht. <laughs>